Granted, the UFC heavyweight title is on the line. For a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, presenting the challenger, Iron. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting from Euclid, Ohio, USA. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Magic Man. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on... Whoa! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. He got him. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice. So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh, that's 
Nice strike. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Back inside the octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Iron. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.